It was way back in 2010 when we first reported on the nonprofit Clean the World. Back then, they just moved out of their garage workshop. The nonprofit recycles used hotel soap and ships it around the world to people who desperately need Pretty it. Cool system. Well, a lot has changed since then. All new at 5:30, News 6 anchor Julie Broughton is checking in as they celebrate their 15-year anniversary. Don't have to worry about the little chunks, just more, more or less the bars. At Clean the World Warehouse in Orlando, they're turning trash into treasure. This is all post-consumer, comes from our hotel partners. We partner with over 8,000 hotels worldwide. Volunteers sort, stack, and box away recycled soap. Uh, we truly couldn't do what we do without our volunteers. So, I mean, they volunteers are the heartbeat and the lifeblood. They help us meet all of our goals. And those goals are lofty, save lives and help the environment. We are saving lives literally around the world every single day, so it's pretty cool. Around here, there's a legacy of making something from nothing. Just as Clean the World founder and CEO, Sean Seipler. And this is us sitting on upside down pickle buckets. <laughs> we had these potato peelers. We would scrape the outside of the bars of soap with potato peelers to surface clean it. Seipler started the nonprofit out of his one car garage 15 years ago. When you started in your garage, did you ever imagine that this would be where you would end up? No, honestly, no. Now, you know, in the garage, at the time that we were scraping soap with potato peelers and grinding it in a meat grinder and cooking it in cookers, um, we knew that there were millions of bars of soap being thrown away every day and there were thousands of children dying every day and we just needed to get that soap into the hands of those children. And they're getting results. The nonprofit has shipped 82 million bars of soap to children and families in 127 countries. They've diverted 25 million pounds of waste from landfills. Now the boxes that you are working on, they are actually going to be on the truck in the container ship on its way to Zambia within the next week and a half. Now, the number that is the most important is when we started 15 years ago, there were 9,000 children under the age of five dying every day to hygiene-related illnesses. Okay, today that number has dropped by more than 65%. So we are credited with really helping to drive that and assist that, so much so that the United Nations added the WASH Foundation to United Nations Global WASH Cluster. So we actually drive global strategies on water, sanitation, hygiene. And again, we started in a garage in downtown Orlando 15 years ago. That's incredible. Yes. But we feel like we've just begun. We have so much more impact to make around the world. Julie Broughton, Getting Results, News 6. It Dude, is such a great organization. It's a smart yeah. idea, and I had no idea it started in a garage with right? potato peelers. Yeah. And you can see why it has just uh, blossomed over the years, yeah. because it's just uh, ingenious, that Makes idea. a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. As you heard, Clean the World relies on its volunteers. If you'd like to help out, we've included that information in the web version of this story. Made it easy for you. If you know someone getting results, we want to know about them too. You can nominate someone you know by going to our website, clickorlando.com. Click on the question mark on the top right corner and it'll take you to our Getting Results desk. Just type in Getting Results Award. You'll see the form pop up right there.